Hello, my name is Christina and today we are going to work through lesson two, changing lights. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to make your code cube display multiple images. Before you get started, you'll need the following materials, a code cube, your USB cable, and a device with the code cube app open. When the app is open, attach or tether the code cube to your computer with the cable. Remember, once you plug in, it should light up. Click Connect Cube in the top left corner of the app and select your code cube from the list. Then click Connect. In the Lesson 1 video, we used blocks from the Control and Matrix menus on the left side of the screen. Today we're going to stay in those menus, but we're going to use a new block from the Control menu. Now, if you saved your program from Lesson 1, you can open it by clicking Open Blocks at the top of the screen. If you did not save it, you can follow along with me to complete your code. The only difference will be that you will have to create your happy heart again. In lesson one, you learn that the on program start block is the one that tells the code cube to start the program that you created. Let's start by going into the control menu and dragging over the on program start block to your work area. With that block in place, you can add the other blocks needed for this code. In the matrix menu, click and drag the create image block onto the workspace, placing it below the on program start block. If you did not open a saved code from lesson one, take this time to recreate your happy heart. Once you have a happy heart, we are going to add a new block from the control menu. Pause for blank seconds. This block tells the code cube how long to wait before going on to the next block. Drag this block to the workspace and connect it under your happy heart. To change the number, click on it and select the number from the drop down menu. Let's change this to pause for two seconds. You have a couple of options on how to add the next create image block. You could go back into the matrix menu and drag it over to add it to your code. If you do this, you'll have to create the sad heart by scratch. If you prefer to not do that, here are two ways to copy the block. The first option is to right click on the block that you want to copy and select duplicate. This will add a copy of the block to the screen. The second option is to click on the block Type in Control C to copy and Control V to paste. These shortcuts can save a lot of time when working with more complex code, so be sure to share them with your students. Now that you have another create image block in your workspace, you'll want to make sure it's connected to the pause block and adjust it so that it shows a sad heart. Remember, connected blocks appear colorful while disconnected blocks have a faded yellow grid pattern on them. So, you can create your own sad heart, follow the pattern in the teacher's guide, or tweak the happy heart. To finish out this code, you'll want to add another pause block beneath the sad heart again. This will keep the program running until you stop it or load a new program. Go ahead and change this one to pause for two seconds. Now that you have a complete image sequence, let's click Send Code. This should automatically show on your code cube if it is tethered to your device. You should see the happy heart followed by the sad heart. In case you want to use this code again, you can save it by selecting Save Blocks at the top of the app. Then you'll want to rename it. For this one, we're going to name it Lesson Number 2. Finally, you'll want to choose a location where you can save it. Great job creating the code for Lesson 2. Let's take a look at the activities at the end of this lesson plan. Remember that these give students additional practice with the code they just created. Something to keep in mind when adding multiple create image blocks is the memory they use. You can monitor this on the bottom of the app. You should be able to add up to eight different images to your program before the memory is filled. For more CodeCube resources and to view additional videos, go to pitsco.com forward slash CodeCube.